Hi, my name is Elisa Grishman, and without the Affordable Care Act, I will die. We hear a lot about the people who need afford the Affordable Care Act as being lower class, uh, being lazy, unemployed, all these misconceptions. You know, I'm from a wealthy family. I, you know, my parents are both college professors. I have a degree from one of the top universities in the world. But no matter who you are, your race, class, gender, social economic status, uh, religion, ethnicity, you name it, nothing can stop you from developing a disability or chronic illness at some point in your life that has just nothing to do with your personal characteristics. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when I was 19 years old, although I can trace symptoms back to when I was 12. Uh, since then, I've also been diagnosed with gout, polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, depression, anxiety, uh, allergies, things like that. Uh, after surviving a workplace shooting, I also have PTSD. And so for all these things, I take 12 different medications on a daily basis and I have a monthly infusion to manage my MS symptoms. The medication that I'm on for the monthly infusion costs $22,000 a year. So that's a little less than $2,000 a month in cash. The rest of my medications combined probably would be one to two thousand dollars a month on top of that. So we're looking at four thousand dollars a month, which is more than most people I know make. Uh, you know, because of the Affordable Care Act, I was able to purchase insurance through the healthcare marketplace, and that covers almost all of my medical expenses. I have, uh, after my, other than my premium, I have a out-of-pocket max for the year, and once I've hit that, everything is covered. I also have Medicaid secondary to help cover the rest of it because I am, at the moment, low income, but my family is able to help me pay for my insurance through the marketplace. Were it not for the marketplace though, even those rates would be too high and I would be left without insurance. Without these medications, I would die. And there is no exaggeration there. Uh, my MS has uh, been always a very unusual, uh, almost uh, intense form. You know, one day when I was 19 years old, my entire left side stopped working and I was paralyzed for, or half paralyzed for a while. I've been mobile, I've been using a cane, I now use a walker, I have a wheelchair that I use a lot of the time too between bad MS days and the gout. Uh, but even that, you know, how much worse would that be if it hadn't been for the last 16 years with me on very expensive but very necessary treatments to halt the progression of the disease. You know, given the severity that I've dealt with at this point, had I not had those, I would have already been dead probably year, you know, years ago now. There's also the other medications. You know, I have uh, medications that I take to help control the uh, post-traumatic stress disorder so I don't have panic attacks left and right. Uh, I have medications to help balance my hormones out for the polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, I take medications for depression and anxiety because I've had points in my life where I was suicidal. And, you know, if the MS hadn't killed me, and I would have just wound up killing myself were it not for those medications. Without the ACA, people like me who, you know, contribute greatly to society, I'm an advocate, I'm a public speaker, um, I've had a lot of critical uh, acclaim from local newspapers, uh, TV stations. I had a fabulous interview with NPR, which was the highlight of my life. Um, and none of that would have happened if the ACA hadn't been there once my health deteriorated too much for me to work anymore. You know, if the ACA hadn't been there for me to get insurance because there was no way I could have gotten uh, new insurance with all of my pre-existing conditions. So anyone watching this, 
I beg you, I beg you, please keep the Affordable Care Act because without it, I will die and I really like being alive. Thank you.